Welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. From this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year exam papers. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to get more in-depth discussions like this. Let's see what's uh, today's problem. So this is the problem from CSR 2019. According to this problem, this inalizable ketone react with LDA and followed by propanaldehyde, which produce compound A. And similarly, the same inalizable ketone, when it reacts with chlorodicyclohexyl chlorine in the presence of triethylamine and followed by that intermediate uh, react with propanaldehyde, which produce compound B. So here you see there are four options. Let's find out the which one is the correct option. Once if you see the this problem, you can easily tell that this problem is based on cross aldal reaction. Yes, you are correct. This problem is based on cross aldal reaction. So let's solve together this problem. So the first reaction condition is LDA. LDA we already discussed in our channel. If you wish to watch, don't worry, you can find the link from our description box. So LDA is one of the non-nucleophilic sterically inter strong phase which really takes the proton from sterically less sterically hinted side. However, here you see in our substrate having only one side, therefore when you use LDA, which readily takes the proton from this side. However, here we should see which unilate is formed, either E unilate or Z unilate. So we already know that, so that LDA takes the proton from this side, which undergo by six membered cyclic chair like transulfate. So now you consider this ketone having X as well as R any of the substance. And if you use various LDA type of bases, which all of them undergo by this type of six membered cyclic chair like transulfate. Here L means there is some groups and X also some of the substance. So when you use this type of bases, which readily produce these two type of transient state. So here you see this first transient state may possible to experiences with 1,3 dioxyl interaction between this R group as well as this L group. If you having somewhat larger L, so definitely this equilibrium shifted towards this transient state. However, this transfer state also experiences one more interaction. That means that A, 1 comma 2 sign. If you are having somewhat larger X, then definitely this equilibrium shifted to this transient state. Okay. So if you having this transient state, which readily produce EZ inhalate as a major form. So this EZ inhalate form is favored when that having large X x could be large and small l so small l means for example isopropyl group if you are having this cyclic transient state which readily produce e unilate as a major form for this you need small x means this group is could be small and the same time having large l so here you should have some larger group for example LIHMTS so one of the best example for this case so here you see I tabulated some of the examples having different AX groups so here you consider R equal to methyl so for example X is equal to OME or o, o tertiary butyl group or ethyl group so in the, all these cases having small X therefore this all this all these cases up to ethyl produce E enolate as a major form. In case of this large uh, last three groups such as tertiary butyl, phenyl, and diethylamine, so these three parts having larger group, therefore, which produce preferentially Z enolate as a major form. So apart from this, we can switch the selectivity from E enolate to Z enolate just changing the solvent. So when you use mixed solvent system such as THF, HMBA, which preferentially to produce Z enolate as a major form, since HMBA strongly coordinate with this lithium cation and breaking up this closed transient state into open transient state, which readily produce Z enolate as a major form. Let's come to the our question. So when you use LDA, so here you see this group is somewhat larger group. 
therefore which readily produce eject enolate as a major form once you get a eject enolate our second reaction condition will be a reaction of propanaldehyde so for this we can easily explain by zimmerman traxler model according to this model this reaction undergo by six member cyclic chair like transient state let's consider this example so here you see so this is a tenolate react with propanaldehyde that can undergo by either two either these two cyclic chair like transient state so here most of the arrangements are similar only the difference is so here you see how this propanaldehyde is approaches to this enolate ion so here you see this hydrogen is upside so while this transient state ethyl is upward direction so now you come to this cyclic transient state having minimal 1,3 dioxyl interaction between phenyl group as well as hydrogen group therefore so this one is a favored transition state while this case here you see there is a heavy 1,3 dioxyl interaction between phenyl group as well as ethyl group therefore this one is a disfavored transition state so from these two transition state you can get the two type of the product so one one from syn aldol product from favored transition state and another one is a anti aldol product from disfavored transition state so in our condition zetinolate so when you use propanaldehyde which readily produce syn aldol as a major product so this is the answer for first question so this is the answer for a so let's find out the next question which is based on boron enolate so here you see when you use fluoro dicyclohexyl boron and triethylamine so which unit you will get either e or z unit so for this we can, we have some rules we can easily predict which unit is formed more preferentially so here you see unit geometry control when you use dialkyl boron triplet typically afford z unit as a major form while some little sensitivity towards the amine also played a crucial role when you come to the dialkyl boron chloride the geometry of the product of enolate is much more sensitive to the variation of amine for in general when you use combination of dicyclohexyl boron chloride and triethylamine which preferentially produce e boron enolate so once if you get the e boron enolate which readily undergo cross aldol reaction with propanaldehyde so here also we can explain this selectivity for this uh, reaction for zimmerman traxler model according to this model e enolate readily interact with propanaldehyde by e. cyclic six membered chair like transition state here most of the arrangements are same only the difference is how our propanaldehyde approach into this enolate ion so now you look this first transition state having the minimal 1,3 dioxyl interaction between phenyl and hydrogen therefore this one is a favored transition state while this one is disfavored since heavy 1,3 dioxyl interaction between phenyl as well as ethyl group therefore so this form is disfavored so the favored transition state readily produce anti aldol product while this disfavored uh, transition state produce syn aldol product so according to this so in our reaction condition to produce anti aldol product as a major form so here i should note uh, one important point in these two reaction two reaction so here the stereochemistry all the stereochemistry of this reaction is relative stereochemistry not absolute stereochemistry and another important point is when you use boron uh, based species so you should use some oxidant such as hydrogen peroxide to cleave boron oxygen bond in order to produce this corresponding alcohol product however in your question they did not give any hydrogen peroxide to break up this bo bond another important point is the better results are mostly obtained by using boron mediated aldol reaction so this has been we can ascribed to the shorter boron oxygen bond length thereby 
producing a tighter transient state and enhancing the steric effect compared with that lithium based cross aldol reactions. So, based on our discussion, we can easily omit the option one and two as well as four. So, the third option is the correct answer for this question. So, if you are struggling to understand whatever we discussed in the previous slides, you just keep in your mind. If you use EZ unilate, you will get the syn aldol product. And similarly, when you use E unilate, you will get the anti aldol product. So, this tool can be useful for predicting which aldol product you will get in your reaction. So finally, and thanks for watching. If you are enjoyed this content and give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.